uh, I am starting with about a thousand grams of five to six millimeter red cores. And my plan is to grow them up to about three eighths of an inch uh, using uh, the Toro method and some uh, Brule, Brule Red composition. First thing I'll do is take a Dixie cup full of composition. and make a slurry with just plain um, distilled water or yes distilled water the thickness of the composition kind of dictates how well it will work but when the stars are small you want to have your composition be fairly thin That's too thick. These stars are small, so they'll stick together quite easily. They're a little bit too thick, I think. And the thickness that your Toro comp is um, kind of comes from experience in terms of how how well you know the composition and how well or how big the stars are and all kinds of different variables but that looks pretty good there so what I'll do is actually pour it into a smaller cup so it's easier to work with and then get some dry composition also ready get it rolling and add a little composition or the, the coral mix you can see right away they want to stick together could be a little bit thinner Let them roll a little bit to kind of distribute the composition around. And then add a little bit more Toro mix. You can hear the difference when they start getting wet. You can see they're starting to clump. Doesn't take much taro mix and they'll start to clump pretty easily. You can see how they're clumping, but not sticking.
is actually getting thick. I'm going to thin it out a little bit. Whoa, way too much. want to put a little bit of taro in and then let it roll for a little bit. Distributes the liquid around the composition. Notice how clean the, uh, the roller barrel is staying. We can turn that down just a little bit. You see, it doesn't take much to make them sticky. Once you start seeing them clump, then you're about ready to get some dry comp in there before they start sticking together. about almost seven millimeters. So I'll grow them just a little bit more and we'll call it good enough. Just 
slow this down a little bit so we're not quite so violent on it. I think we'll probably take them off now. I like to wet them up so they're you know, kind of wet when I take them off. So I make sure that that outside coat is uh, really sticking good. About a thousand cores, believe it or not. And the cleanup is easy, just sponge it out. <clears throat> the heavier these stars get, uh, the cleaner the rolling pan is going to stay. There, cleaned out. Ready for the next application. The stars should dry for three hours or so, two or three hours, and they'll be done. Now this Taro, this comp that we've saved, you can see it's pretty thick, but we saved this for the next rolling application. I probably could have made less, um, so it doesn't go to waste. 